Hello guys and welcome to episode 36 of my Let's Play series. Logged in today. Whoa, that was weird. Logged in today. I went and got myself uh, some new pants. Got myself some diamond leggings. And then now there's only two more components that I really need in uh, this build. Now, I made this world anchor but then I forgot to put it on and I went and made a ender chest off camera since you guys already know how to make one of you know, those. It's weird, you know, it's like I'm falling through the world. Okay, let's get this thing turned on, I say. Okay. First, we need to go and place our ender chest. Right like that. As you can see, they all connected. Haven't really been playing, been playing uh, much Minecraft because of a uh, fire emblem. I recently got it, and that's... I've devoted all my time to it, <laughs> practically. You can see with this world anchor, it shows this little red uh, thing up here at the top, meaning that it's not powered at all. So I go and throw some ender pearls in here. It'll eat one of them up. It'll say, for 12 hours, this this area right here will be chunk loaded. I could use a chicken chunks chunk loader, but uh, those have been uh, glitchy on frames so far, unless if he's you know fixed it. So. So first I'm going to turn on, oh wait, do I have my goggles? That's weird. It's not showing my aura. Why isn't it not showing my aura? I'm guessing this area does not have any aura. That'd be kind of bad. I did not notice that. Let me go back to... Okay. That was weird. My goggles weren't working there for a second, but now they are. As you can see in the bottom left. It's weird whenever I come here. Huh. Well, there's supposed to be ore here. Let's turn it on and see if it... Oh, yeah. That's so weird. But this is going to eventually start uh, mining out these areas, as you can see. Oh, this thing is awesome. Oh man, that's quickly filling up. I need myself another sorter, and it doesn't know what to do with these iron clusters either. I might actually need to make myself another uh, sorter. Now you can see as we're going here. Now uh, let's probably... Yeah, now we can probably uh, turn on this. Wait. Timer? Why you, why you be broken? Okay. Every... Two minutes. It'll move forward. How about every. Oh, wait, wrong way. How about every minute? It'll move forward. That seems like a better number. What I'm also going to do is clear out this area down over here. Look at it just wreck through all this. Okay, yeah, my sorting system does not keep up very well. So I might actually need to go make myself another sorter here. Maybe go and check on our uh, durability is really good, so. Don't have to worry about too much. Definitely need another sorter. It probably does not know what to do with all this, all these resources running through it. I mean, look at that, the chest is already full. Would you 
click over? It's weird, did you not click over? Uh-oh. Well, something happened. This is why we test. should probably light this, these areas up. Okay, so you can see we moved our things, but they didn't want to go, which is weird. I was able to move it forward, but something came up. So let's see. I had this one like so. It was connected this way, and it was facing. Now, you can tell where it's facing if you're only looking at it from this side by this uh, lighter color pixel. Right now, it's pointing this way. So, actually, if we go up here and actually look at it, we should see... Well, you can't really see it, but... We should see that it's uh, pointing that way, and it's, like, right below this battery box, so you can't really see it. But uh, it should be facing this way. So it goes and moves everything this way. Okay, I think I see my problem. I think I forgot to put a cover. Right here. That seems to be correct. And then this one We'll move everything that way. As you can see, we our sorter's probably already caught up. Yeah. And we've hardly taken any durability. But we probably have a lot of resources back at our, our at our place. So let me go turn this on real quick. Oh, crash. Hello guys, and we are back. Had a small crash. Something with the dirt. Whenever I was trying to right-click it, I guess I didn't know what to do. So I'm just going to let this run without, you know, right-clicking it. Because that's what caused it to crash the first time. Something weird with these uh timers here. I'm going to wait for this to move and see if it actually moves. It's about time to move. Look, look, look at all this stuff that we've already dec decimated. There we go. Now it's go going right. Okay, there we go. So now that thing works. Now probably, before I continue, not continue this off too far, as you can see, look, look at this area. Completely decimated. By just having it on for, like, what? A few minutes? Well, not even a few minutes. Like, a couple minutes. It wasn't even that. Let's go check on our on our sorting system. I might need to make ourselves... I need to make myself a, another... Another sorter... To pull out from this chest. I don't think one of them... I don't think one of them will do it. We've, we've practically overflowed these recyclers with cobble, practically. With those relays. Oh, gosh. I don't know if my uh, sorting system will actually keep up with how fast I get these resources. Oh, and there went all the uh, cobble and stuff. So I needed to go tell my sorting system what to do with all of these. As you can see, we get those extra stuff from, uh, I should probably go and put all this, most of this stuff in my red power chest. Because I am done with that machine, practically. Although I probably won't run it, like, for very long, uh, for long periods of time. Because, uh, it'll bog down my sorting system. This is why I wish, wish I had logistics pipes. So it would know exactly where to go. But I have to wait for the, for those logistics pipes. Two, 
three, two, three, eight over here, actually. It's probably already done. <laughs> so now, what we can tell our sorting system, what you do with these native tin clusters, you get them from the uh, pickaxe of the core. It's kind of Thomcraft's way of doubling your own ore. So what if I if I say tin clusters gold, let me reorganize this some, somewhere where it's like this. Let's say you got gold. Uh, where's iron? Iron, copper, tin. Wait. And you've got silver and lead. And all those should go down into that, and then it should get processed. So if I throw down my gold, it gets painted orange, and it should know exactly where it goes. And it'll go straight into here. Click up, into gold ingots. Can't really see it until you get over here, that it's a gold ingot. Yep, there we go. So now my sorting system knows how to handle these. Anyway, let that go, and then any leftover will be sent here into the relay. Oh man, I'm going to have so much scrap from all the stone that I picked up. I mean, I was just running for what, just a couple of minutes? If I need resources, flip it on, bam. Got so much resources. Okay, enough with that, that thing is done. You guys probably won't be seeing too much of it unless, you know, I'll show you guys, you know, aftermaths of uh, it, you know, running. Let's look at it just one more time. Let's bog down my system one more time, should I say. Because this thing is just so neat. I want to show you guys, you know, more of this on camera. Of it just decimating the earth. I mean, look at that. Creepy Minecraft noises. But look at this. It's amazing. Haha. Uh -huh. Need resources? Flip a lever. Well, flip a couple of levers. And I could actually make it wireless with the wireless redstone. But that's not all I want to do today. Another thing I also want to get done today is that you remember that lich back from Twilight Forest? I want to go back there. I want to fight that thing. You just drop off all these resources back over here. And apparently, Thomcraft would wanted to uh, move all the aura nodes randomly again, so I had this glass case in case of wisp spawning, and it's not there anymore. <laughs> and this area over here is a little bit different. I have no idea where its thing is, so I have to go and relocate it. I have to go find it again, should I say? And these levers can just go over here. So like I was saying, I wanted to go and fight that lich thing, which is why I went and got myself some diamond leggings. I wasn't able to put a arrow protection from it, but uh, that's alright. Let's go to the Twilight Forest. Actually, not that book. Let us use the this book. I'm going to take out this Mining World book, just for now, and put in the Twilight Forest. And go right there. Let's hope that I don't die. Okay. Made a little bit faster, coming here. I think, I think for this first, uh... The, like, uh, first level, I guess, of the boss... You have to, like, deflect, like, these, uh, ender pearls back at him. Whoa. Those don't hurt too bad.
Oh, wait. This is a little unfair. Oh, wait. Good back down over here and heal for a little bit. Hopefully it won't teleport down here. Gotta be stealthy, Brandon. I'm picking up all of his paintings. I hear him. I should probably go and get some kind of like... Regeneration effect things. Oi. Ah, so I am damaging it. Oi. Where did I spawn? Where am I? It says that I'm falling. Okay. Oh, another crash. Hello, guys. I just made it back from that crash. Went and spawned way out over there. Like, 400 blocks away. Hopefully my stuff hasn't, you know, despawned or the lich won't destroy it whenever I finally get up there. I'm gonna run in, hopefully grab my stuff, and get out. That's my plan. And if not, then I'll die again, unfortunately. I have to go and spin myself a couple more pieces of armor. Okay, lich. Whoa! Book, you're not helping. Oi. Oi. Really? Hello, guys. Seems like every time I die, I crash. So I went back in there, got my stuff as fast as I could, and I got out. Seems like uh, I didn't really lose a whole lot. I don't know why my boots are damaged so much. But, uh, yeah. Picked up some of the paintings and then that stupid book. Was able to kill him. And I went and repaired my sword real quick. Let's see, what else was there? I'm also going to need to go and make myself some diamond armor. Seems like I'm going to need that kind of stuff just to beat this guy. I'm going to need to grab myself, you know. Lots of diamonds. Grab the whole stack, why not? Took off my boots. Oh man, I'm gonna miss those these boots. Oi. That was weird. Couple of you. You, you, and then you. Set of diamond armor. Hopefully that'll change your mind. I'll keep these boots on just in case. But I'll have some diamond boots for backup. Because I want to beat this guy. Been driving me kind of insane. You know, like, what kind of loot is up there? What do I get from... Oh, come on, book. Okay, now he starts summoning zombies. Oi. They're in gold armor, come on. Oi. Come on. At least I'm doing damage to him. Yeah, come on. Bring it. Oh man, they dropped a lot of stuff. They dropped a lot of gold stuff. We got a zombie scepter too. Some ender pearls. Oh boy. Wasn't expecting you to having to need a diamond armor just to beat this guy. Ooh, we got a lot ourselves a lot of enchanted stuff. Ooh, that, no, that's really neat. Let's go head back. That's not the right base. Here's the right base. Now, cool thing with these, uh, with Enchanted Plus, what we can do is, uh, we can disenchant it. If you go here, disenchant. Aha. And we get levels back. 
and say this, this, and this. Let's look at that. We got 24 levels from that. This. Disenchant it. Protection. Disenchant. Protection 4. Disenchant. Sweet. I went and disenchanted all this stuff for a reason. I want to know what this zombie scepter does, too. Now I also want to enchant my armor that I had. So like with this one, I can go and say... Which one will this be? I wonder what that fiery ore does. We'll say... UB projectile protection. No blast protection. Cost 10, so we got blast protection. We can go say that our boots has unbreaking and then projectile. No feather falling, projectile protection, haste. Yes. How much will that cost? 43 levels. Ooh. And our diamond chest plate. You can say unbreaking. And this one will be protection. 26. Oh. Can't enchant that yet. What happens if I put on these now? Oh, they're pretty fast. Not as fast as these. Or are they about as fast? They're about as fast, but I don't get the, uh, jumping up ability. Like I do with these. They just... Just like that. So what I might do... I'm gonna keep these, uh... This set of diamond stuff here. So then I can enchant... Oh, wait. I think I can enchant it. I didn't notice I had these, uh, other golden boots. Aha, there we go. So now we should have enough. Now we've got unbreaking and then protection. And with the diamond helmet, I would need fire protection, respiration, aqua infinity, and then unbreaking. That would cost 37 levels. A little bit out of my range right now. What else did we get? We got some... Well, I don't want to just throw it into my sorting system and let it take care of itself. Like that. I have a bunch of these books and quills. I mean, seriously. Got this. Another book and quill. Got some more paper. Paintings I'll just throw in here. Diamond helmet can go over here. Of all this gold stuff, now that I've disenchanted it, what I can do is go and put it in here. I should get two golden ingots in each one of those swords. Aha. It's another way to recycle your items. And in this case, I'm getting gold out of it. So this technically makes gold a renewable resource. As long as you keep finding these, these liches. Okay, that was weird. 19. Got 19 gold ingots from that fight. And lots of levels, too. We were able to enchant our a whole set of like diamond armor for ourselves. Another little update here on the bees. Here, I haven't really been doing much. Well, what's up with all the world? Not loading. I haven't really been doing much with bees. See, I, I got some rocky drones over there. I got myself some a hardy princess, which is the next one up up the line. But I'm trying to get it to where it's just hardy. And then these, uh, I keep getting uh, stone, which is good. But they are they're always different uh, sets. I can't really get a stone by itself. 
go and check our Apiaris database. I guess it's more of a better update for y'all. Let's see. Rocky and stone. Look at all the biomes it can be in. <laughs> we had to do that. Luckily, you know, somebody commented telling me that's diligent. I would have never figured that out. Stone and, and then Rocky, which got me the hardy. Now this hardy one, I have no idea what to combine it with, but I've already discovered it. And my guess is that it's... Well, you can mutate it into something else. My guess is is that it's a hardy with a stone. That's my guess. What else to do today? Oh, That's all that I really wanted to get to today. At least on camera, anyway. There's going to be a lot of grinding the, in between this episode and next. Mainly uh, killing cows. I think I want to make myself a uh, mob farm with soul shards. But right now, my uh, my sh two soul shards that I have, cow and then my blaze, are really really low. I, I, I wanted to get them up to a, about you know a thousand, you know, to get to a tier five. That's going to require a lot of grinding. And I do have a tier five mob spawn, uh, zombie spawner. Which I, I could use to get like experience, which is the one that one of the things I kind of want. But zombies don't really drop a whole lot; like they only drop like rotten flesh. And all I would really do it would would uh, recycle it. That's all I would do with it. And uh, I might go and exp uh, off camera, maybe reorganize all of this, or maybe on camera. That might be the next episode. Me reorganizing all of this stuff. And then uh, the next big build that I really want to get started on is that I'm really tired of you know going up and down this ladder right here. So what I was thinking about doing was installing a uh, frame elevator right here that would go up and down uh, levels. Now I was thinking of a design where you would just have like one block, like so be the thing that moves up and down and then there'd be like a platform that would be attached to it. Some kind of platform. Let's say it's, you know, this big. That'll go up and down. And what what also what I was also thinking was uh having a uh, a button press like out over here. Like a button press for floor 1 or for floor 2. And depending on which button you press, there'd be signs here. You know, it would go to that floor. But that's one of the things I want to get started on uh, doing uh, next time. I don't know why I'm using my fist when I can use this. But there's a little quick update on what I want to do next. Put another torch here. Okay, guys. So this is uh, Lunchbox, and I'm signing off. Adios, and good night.